Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survivalvis, and we return to the Long Dark with our Stalker difficulty series. I'm still fighting through the cold, so I'm probably not going to be making the smartest moves or decisions in the uh, videos going forward for a little bit here. Although, granted, after last episode, going after so many wolves, getting attacked like I did, probably not already making smartest moves, but thanks to the combination of, I think, our Ballistic Vest and possibly the bearskin coats, we took very... Ooh, well. Eh, some things have taken some damage from the wolf attacks. Like, for the most part, we actually got through them in pretty good shape. So, I still do want to plan on trying to figure out if there is a way to... Ah, uh, the mine here through this ravine. But I don't think I'll really have a... I'll have to try to figure out my way into there. I remember there was a way... I think it was somewhere near the prison grounds on this area here, but... Yeah, there's not much I can do right now. We've got a storm going. I'm basically just going to want to look at resting and healing up if I can. Okay, so I've still got a sprain wrist. But I should look at trying to find some food. I'm gonna see if I can get that uh, risen up a little bit. And then we can probably look better at ah, next stages. Should be told that okay here. Yeah, we were not doing the best on food. I might actually. I do have a few energy bars. I have the granola bar. Okay, so there is a little bit here. I think I've still got. Okay, right, that's all cured. But there's nothing I really need to make with that. I think I've still got a few things of cooked meat up here. Yeah, I've got a few raw things and some cooked. Uh, what is my condition at for the parasites? It's 1%. You know what? I'm going to have... Just to make that a little bit easier on us. Close that up. Have a bit of a drink, and then we'll go and get some sleep, and hopefully the storm will pass. So I have... Yeah, I do have water on me. I should also look at making more coffee for the possible climbs ahead. But for now, we just want to let the condition recover from all the wolf attacks I went through. Uh, we'll start with just four hours, see how I stand after that. Yeah, get our condition all the way up to full. Then I have to try to figure out how we can minimize the weight we're carrying for the possible climbs ahead. Uh, sounds like the wind's still going pretty good. Uh, we'll go for another four hours. I still do wonder how long it takes of a sleep to get your bar, like, fully maxed, because... Okay. Yeah, it's nice to know that it's quiet out right now. How cold is it, though? Actually, it's not that cold out. I do hear some of the wolves, but I... Yeah, I think they're all over there. I think we've cleared out all the ones that... would have been problematic that were over here. But since I can see a little bit, is that also... Okay, no, I don't think it is lights. I think it's just a bit of a graphical thing. Yeah, let me just... Oh, I didn't realize this is already down to like 56% for its condition. Yeah, with it not being too bad out... I should look around, see if I can figure out if there's any more wood to be had. Wood, or even possibly finding another wolf carcass and getting more meat just to store away. That's uh, just a rock. Rocks. Yeah, not having that hatchet is still the biggest thing that's, I feel, limiting us. There's kind of like a, a survival toolkit. A knife and hatchet... And the bedroll, I think, are kind of like the trifecta of it. That if you can get all three, 
that's what'll really help you the most. Oh, next there's another. How many sticks did I? I must have dropped those there because like that was way too many all at once. And you. Okay, so we've already got the meat from you. I don't need any of the other materials, so at least we know that's cleared out. Uh, there's nothing else here. I'm thankfully not hearing any, like, barks or that for this area. I don't know if I could go up and get him. Oh, there is a wolf right here, though. Yeah, it died right into the... Ooh, an hour. Oh! Actually, yeah, we'll use the hacksaw. It's only going to be 30 minutes with that. Kind of weird, but I guess the harder the material, the better the hacksaw works. Gear. Uh, let me see if I can even get this one, too. Because, again, we still got quite a bit of heat. That's no problem. I think I've got some coal back in our wood supply. Oh, come on. Let me interact with him. There we go. Yeah, we'll get that too. Again, we've got decent amount of uh, condition. And now we'll head back. Oh, and there's a nice little perk to have gotten from it too. Carcass harvesting level 2. But we'll make our way back for... Uh, I feel my feet. Our main base. Get all the meat put up the top near the fire. I'll have to see how my fire supplies are. I might not urgently want to cook all of this, just because I don't know if I have enough to keep the fire going for too long. I really, really do need to get a hatchet in order to start getting firewood more regularly. And then with that, and possibly um, making some revolver ammunition, We'd probably be able to look at advancing out of Blackrock. Or the region. It's like, those have been the biggest things holding me back, is... If there's a chance to get a lot of revolver ammunition because of everything we've been stockpiling, I want to super make sure we take that. So cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. Yeah, well, we're going to be into somewhere warmer. I think I still got a so hungry in my life. Yeah, but that's another thing I need to. I might have to see about trying to even take down a deer just to get some like uh herbivore meat. It's re I haven't been gambling too much with the parasite risk, but that's one thing I really need to try avoiding if I can. Okay. Yeah, it's nice to know that... I might even just leave that as a pile. It doesn't look the best, but you know what? Nothing's going to be up here taking it from me, which is nice. Yeah, let me take a look and see what I'm dealing with when it comes to... Uh... Okay, those are still curing. Okay, yeah, lantern fuel is no problem. Okay. I might as well get the reclaimed wood out of have to there. Here. And try to put that with, uh... Where is my firewood supply? Oh. I might not have a firewood supply. Like, I've got some of those like that. Yeah, I think that's actually my problem. I don't have a firewood supply right now. Okay. Well, you know what? Let me get out... Alright, food I have over here. Yeah, I've got plenty of water, so that's not a problem. But that lack of food is becoming more and more pressing. I'll try getting a little bit more sleep in, that way we have more energy. Uh, see if there's anything else I could 
try leaving behind. So yeah, I'm, I definitely need to get us some more, uh, some more food. Wait, I have the Storm Lantern. That's an interesting idea. We are getting towards day. I just remembered we have the Storm Lantern. There is the steam tunnels. I was just, I think, trying to navigate through that at night. But with having the uh, Storm Lantern... Actually, you know what? If I'm going to do that, I might want to just make sure I grab some extra... Uh, Lantern fuel. Yeah, that's an avenue I could try exploring down. Right, I'm trying to remember. I think my best way for actually getting... Oh, well, it's actually safe to go the way I have been going, so I might as well just take that. Um, okay, see, that'd be an hour out in this cold. Yeah, no. Although, at least it's good to know I do have a bit of reclaimed wood there if needed. Okay, wolves are still howling. I wasn't sure if they would with how the wind's starting to pick up. So I think that might mean a storm is possibly on its way. But yeah, with the Storm Lantern, I can more easily navigate those steam tunnels. And there's a chance there are some uh, resources in there that I haven't found yet. So we can try for that. Yeah, I still want to, just safety's sake, keep opening and closing these. Yeah, thankfully nothing was around here. Okay. And we don't have to worry about the aurora sparking anything up down here. Because day's breaking. So I ha don't have much to worry about as we go exploring down here. And I've got enough fuel that we won't wind up in the dark in the middle of nowhere. Because these... It is a bit of a maze down here. We tried exploring it once. I think it was just with matches. Matches or even just a regular flare. <sighs> Nothing, but at least I... I mean, that's a good sign there are things that I completely missed. Yeah, let's keep going around and see what else we can find. There is the other side of the steam tunnels, too, that I think it's like the dam, but I just can't remember the route to it. Trying to navigate down here, easy to get pretty lost and turned around. Like, yeah, there's all that here. Well, we can safely walk over those wires. Oh, already paying off. Yeah, good to find these. Okay, nothing else around here. Take left and keep going. Um, oh, that's... I'm not sure I can carry much more. God, yeah, I gotta figure out how I can reduce my... Oh, wait a minute. These might be easier to navigate than I thought, because now that I'm seeing them, like, with more light... I think I recognize down here, because, yeah, this is where you would go to... Uh, do, like, the puzzle for them. So I don't know where I was going before with, like, not having the lantern out. But yeah, you would come down here, there'd be, like, the steam puzzle where you have to figure out which valves you open and close to try to get the pressure just right in here. 
But I think that means then our way out is just straight out those doors. Okay, I've searched those lockers. I think it was coming down here where I got super lost and turned around. I have no idea, but anyway, let's go back. Ah, those big metal doors. And see. Anything else around here? God, I feel like I've never even been down this way, despite like all of the fumbling around I was doing last time. Yeah, no, I don't remember going this down and deep into the tunnels. So I have no idea where I kept getting turned around at. I think if we follow this... It might take us to the... Yeah, I think this is the other end of the tunnels. And I don't think it's a one-way trip. I think you can come back and forth through this. At least I really hope so, because... I am not prepared for not having the return trip possible. I can, perfect. And we've got a bunch of pallets. I'll take another pry bar just so that we can stuff it with our extra tools and that. Yeah, this is what I want to get into. I don't really want to go out beyond this dam because. Ah, do do do. Actually, let me make sure I get some food and calories in us, just so I don't start starving. But yeah, this is the top northeastern corner, I think, of the map. Ooh, that's very good find. Uh, da, 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 da. That's not bad to find. Ooh, coffee. I might have to use that to try cheating the system a little bit, so good find. Can make something eh, I guess I'll keep the wires. Ooh. Pry bar, thankful. I wonder if we could get a hatchet from here for Lucky. I mean, it's probably a very rare find in, in a locker, but you never know. Nothing. Anything right about now. Uh, work boots. Uh, I think that's about everything to find here. So yeah, there's not too... Ooh. A little more coffee. But yeah, there's not really anywhere else to explore inside of here. Ah, we can take a little bit of a peek out here. I don't want to spend too long. I'll not go too far, because... Yeah, it is a bit cold. Just to show you guys on the map where we are. Yeah, so we're up in this corner compared to over in this corner. I know the map is very spotty right now from my... ...stuff so far. I don't want to get too far away from here, because this is a good uh, return to the prison. And truthfully, I don't think there's that much up in this corner here. Uh, anything good in the glove box? Flare is pretty helpful. We're at least restocking our supplies for that, because I know I've used up in some stupid ways. Still want to be careful, but there's another vehicle up along the way. So far, it's looking okay for a little bit of exploring this way. Oh, there might be something in the top 
right corner there. I just saw a little bit of a different color, and it looks like... Yeah, there's... A road, too. Ah, uh, nothing in here. Nothing. And I'm just going to see what this sign says and figure out if we go back or go over there. Climbing area. You know what? I'm going to go for this. Reason being, it looks like it's like maybe a little cabin or something. And I haven't had too bad of luck with those. Again, it's another chance for if I can find the hatchet just out in the world. It saves me a lot of time, possibly with the forge and workshop. But it's been the one tool that has been very, very elusive. I'll also see if I can get some... Oh! Oh, there's a climbing rope there for something. But I have no idea what. wonder if maybe it's like a transition zone. Like you can climb that and get out of the area. Okay, but... There's that. I'll just have a few, a couple of these just to offset the hunger risk that we had. And let's go see if there's anything interesting from this spot. Cold is making my head feel thick. Yeah, we are starting to get a bit cold, so I probably will head back after we check this out. What do we got here? Uh, truthfully, I don't know if I've actually ever been to this spot. I see what looks like a big fuse in there. I might as well take the dusting sulfur. Oh. Grab your drunk before you go, crazy bastard. Oh. A memento cache there. But those... Again, I feel like a lot of those need a key. Someone's stash. But I think that was... A hand card. Oh, okay, I see what... That means, uh, anything in this? Could end up being useful. Well, that round of rifle ammo is helpful. We don't have a rifle yet, but maybe we'll come across one. Okay, just gotta check up here. And then we'll probably do a return trip. Yeah, we hypothermia risk just set in. Ah, truth be told. Well, there is some reclaimed wood. So that will be helpful. Uh, we do got... Ah, uh, another cooking pot. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to hike us back to... Ah, uh, the dam and the steam tunnel. It was nice to come across this. But still nothing that I was really hoping for. We're gonna need to eat soon. Yeah, like the replacement few I mean I guess I can take them. Eventually they will have a use, it's just that's gonna be a fair while before that point. But yeah, nothing really out here aside from more cattail stalks. No rabbits, no ptarmigans, no deer. And that's... I'm... Hmm. No, I don't think I want to come across a moose. I was thinking, like, yeah, that would be amazing for the meat, and if I could get the hide, that would let me make the, uh... backpack or satchel thing. But I don't have any equipment that I think is powerful enough to really take out a moose. Unless you get, like... I don't know if there are vital zones for the animals when you're using, like, the r weapons. Like, I guess 
there is in a way, because if you do headshot the wolves, I think that usually takes them right out. But at least with all the coal I've got, we can get back. I can make a lot of water, get some coffees going. Oh, but again, there's nice big branches like that to find here, and nothing I can do about actually getting the firewood from them. At least we did find a little bit to help us, and it does help pass time. So I can get back to... Ah, the dam, and we'll see how we get go from there. Actually, I think I'm going to have a little bit of beef jerky. And even the energy bar. Yeah, there we go. Just because we're carrying so much weight, we're going through our calories a lot faster. But yeah, with being up here, I remember the timber wolves were a nuisance trying to get around both halves of the region. And even when we started in Black Rock, towards that one power substation, we had a wolf pack there too. So I'm always hesitant about being out in Black Rock too much. We did get some flares, which would help for them, but I feel like they might be better served as we're trying to get into, like, transition areas and just leaving areas behind completely. Close that. Actually, you know what? Let me go through here a moment. Just because I can start warming up idly while we're in here. Yeah, there's sadly nothing else in here. I mean, if I wanted, I could get some scrap metal. Not that... I actually don't know how our scrap metal stores are doing and if I'll need a lot. It's like I've never actually tried making ammunition before. I know gunpowder will definitely need. We need to save all the casing on... Ah, uh, the bullet casings that I've been dropping or making... Yeah, nine rounds. But I don't know... ...what we're going to need for, like, the actual bullet projectile. I don't know if that will be something... ...to scrap metal will count towards it, or it's going to be something else... ...a resource I don't have yet. Okay, hatchet again. Okay, but we can make our way back. And shouldn't actually take too long now that I know the route. I don't think I'm going to worry about exploring too much more of the tunnels. I think my fumbling around in the dark kind of emptied out anything else we would have found here, so... Once we get back to our main operations, we'll end the episode there and... See what the next stages are going to be. I think I definitely need to empty out the inventory of everything and then slowly go through what I want to bring with me. Because it's going to be a dangerous trip for sure. I know there's going to be at least... Ah, there were two wolves I had spotted when we were down in the ravine. But of course, I know that's not going to be the only ones. But with the flares I've got, I might be able to use that to at least get past them. And hold them off for a while until maybe I can get like a fire... Oh, but if I want to put a fire down, I need to bring the fire materials with me. Right. Gotta plan this out well before I do truly embark on it all. Actually, 
Actually, truth be told, now I think I took a wrong... Yeah, I took a wrong turn somewhere. This is where I think I started getting, like, all turned around on, like... Not knowing where to go. Oh, crap, how did I get in here again? Was it this way? Yeah, I think I need to find a door that said control room on it. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is how I got lost down here. I took one wrong direction. I don't know if it's just because it looks so different coming down here, or going through one way or the other? Seriously, how did I get into here this time? Ah, uh, Okay, the... Okay, I yeah, I came in through that way. I remember the uh, fire barrel. Yeah, I was just following these sets of doors. That's where I screwed up. Actually, no, that is the way I think I have to go. Okay, so... You're here into this area. There's no doors here. And then there's this here. I don't remember going through a little thing like that. Maybe it's follow this? No, because then this will take me to that little crawl space again. How did I get through it going one direction super, super well? And now I cannot even remember to return. Because I didn't have to crawl down anything. There, I haven't come across any of the stairs that I think we really had to go down a lot of. Let me get back out here. Maybe I'll just leave end the episode there while I'm trying to figure out like my way forward and out of here, because yeah, this is starting to drive me nuts. Maybe it was actually that route. That was probably it, was that way. Okay, but yeah. I'm going to pause and leave this episode of Long Dark right here. We haven't screwed up anything yet, so hopefully the rest of this week will go okay. But we're going to start trying to prep for that expedition to the ravine very soon. It's just, there's some stuff ahead to do. But thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Long Dark. If you liked the video, you should give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, you should leave comments right down below. Until I catch you all next video, though, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive. <laughs>